Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Right today, uh, this is yeah, Attack of the Clones of the Clones of the Clones. Uh, as you probably know, uh, like cameras like the SJ4000, which was a, a nice copy of the GoPro. Uh, well, they've been copied again and yeah, it seems to be the, the bit of a trend really. This can be uh, the the Chinese, Japanese, whoever's doing it are copying the copies, which is quite amusing. Well, I picked this up on eBay. I think it was about £15. I've noticed them on eBay at the moment. They're at about £12 delivered. And these are a copy of the AT Games uh, console, which was obviously a clone of the Mega Drive. Right, so I'm going to crack this open and have a look to see how it performs for your just over a tenner mark it says here it's got an sd slot it says it plays mp3s mp4s uh, i think that's a addition to what the uh, 80 games one did and it says it comes with a hundred classic sega games so let's have a look what we get i'm surprised it's even in a box all right we get a piece of piece of paper which they call an instruction manual uh, it's basically an A4 piece of paper uh, the uh, the Chinglish is pretty good I must admit and it goes through some of the workings of the actual machine right, we'll have a look at that later we have the little machine which comes in a little sock they supply a charging cable which is a standard USB char uh, cable and it also comes with a little land yarn thing and a video cable right, there's nothing else in the box all right let's have a look at this Right, it's a nice little console. Uh, I wish I had a ruler to actually uh, show you the type of size of, of it. But yeah, I haven't. Uh, it comes with its own lithium ion, I presume, battery. I believe it's almost like a Nokia battery in the back there. We'll have a look later. Got uh, this screen protector. I'm going to remove that. Right, it's a. Uh, quite plasticky in feel I must admit uh, the screen bezel almost looks like it's you probably can't see that not stuck on right right on the top you've got a multicolored LED which uh, is for charging it's red charging green charged the USB uh, connection connection for charging a device Go an AV out, yes you can plug this straight into a television that has the composite output plus the sound. You've got a slot for an SD card for Abra games. A little wheelie thing for the volume. On the bottom side you've got the on off switch and a jack for some headphones. Right, this actually supports standard Mega Drive ABC but it's also got x y and z it's also got a start pause and a menu and led tell you when the battery's low and the usual d-pad right let's switch this on i have noticed these seem very much slower than the 80 games version so there is a few differences uh, one of the difference if i go point and stick is this says fire called where the uh, 80 games says fire core so they've actually replaced the uh, the D for the E here and these come with 100 inbuilt games so there's actually 11 pages of games already on there all right let's uh, just pick one I must admit, I, I was looking for Sonic, the, the first Sonic, and didn't find it. 
No, I've gone too far. But if you go into Sonic, I think it's Sonic 3. It's actually all three episodes, so you can actually get the standard Sonic on there. probably wasn't this one. Right, pressing the menu allows you to either return to the game or back to the menu. Right, which one? Maybe it's the Sonic and Knuckles one. Yeah, this is the one that's got the original. I'm not keen on the others, the other ones they did, but the, uh, the first one's quite good. Here you got the standard Sonic, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Dr. Robinick. So let's just, uh, oops, start button. me or not? No, it's in demo mode. Do, do, do. Yeah. And it seems to play quite well, I must admit. Uh, there was a... Uh, I've read quite a lot about these... Uh, these clones of the clones and uh, they say that the games are pretty unplayable but this isn't too bad I have noticed that there's a, a few games there's a few games on there which uh, I think almost you could say a drop in frames but there's a hundred games on here or a hundred games for you you know just over a ten is quite good I haven't tried them all uh, most of them I don't know. Yeah, but some of them I do. Uh, like James Pond. I used to love that game as a kid. Come on. Press the start. Right, for anyone who can't remember, there are some items up here, and if you actually get them in the right order, and spell out the word cheat, so I've got to get the cake first, uh, H for hammer, oh no, don't want to grab on that, missed! What do I need now? E for F, E for F, A for Apple, T for Tap. There we go, we're, we're invincible. But yeah, it seems to play alright. I've uh, watched a few videos and uh, they actually say all these games are unplayable on this. And I don't know if they revised it, but yeah, they seem playable. I have noticed there is one or two where it seems to frame skip a bit. Uh, let's go back to there. Switch this off for a minute. Uh, <clears throat> what I have noticed is if I just put in an SD card and get it in. Right, I've put about 80 games onto this. And um, actually, reading the SD card is very, very slow. I actually put about 5,000 images on there earlier on. It takes about four minutes to actually recognize it so if i do that there's quite a delay there there's only eight, 83 games yeah but yeah the, that delay is quite a few minutes if you've got a lot more so <clears throat> i just thought I'll, I'll put on what i know uh, i haven't tried half of these to see if they work what we got here double drag 
got that. Uh, go all down on Axe. It's all my James Ponds. Do like them games. Micro machines. Try micro machines. <coughs> So you you can you can have an infinite amount of games that you can put on this, as well as I haven't tried this yet. Right, let me just right, I'm gonna just plug it into my television thing here. Oops, get it in. Oops, I've killed it. We have it's all blank. Okay, maybe I should have uh, switched off before I did silly things like that. Let's try again. I don't know if I can angle the camera down. Oh, right, well, we've got something. Right, now we're going through my, uh, my monitor. <coughs> Let's go back to where we was. A lot of micro machines when I come on, I can't remember which one it was. I'll just try that one. Okay, and we're just playing it on big screen now. The uh, little screen on the, the device has. The sound's not quite right, definitely not. Yeah, how do I, is it? Okay, change name, no. Yeah, come on, let's start that. So that's backwards. Oh. Well, I'm not last. I don't think I've actually played this version of Micro Machines. But that's it on the normal television. <coughs> Which isn't too bad. Well, I am going to... Turn back to the main menu, right? How do I get back to right, we're at the main menu? The other interesting thing that I found as well is if you press the C button, uh, you have a choice of wireless controller, and from that wireless controller, you can select if they're player one, player two. So, I want to suggest that you could play two player games with this device. Uh, I don't know what make of wireless controller it would take, or what, or even if the function works. Right, that's that. Let's go and see what it consists of now. Hi everyone, bit of an extra update. Well, I looked up the uh, CPU chip and there was seem to be a lot to talk about. It would emulate Mega Drive and Super Nintendo. Well, it's not documented in any of the thing about that, so I thought I would actually put some Super Nintendo ROMs and some Nintendo ROMs just to see what happened. Now I haven't looked fully into this if they're f fully operational. Right, I actually created two directories. This is the Nintendo. And now it's a uh, Seems to be running a Nintendo ROM. Right, let's go back. Oh, good. Right, Super Nintendo. I've only downloaded one. It's Super Mario World. Right, 
Very interesting. So we now have the ability of Mega Drive and the Super Nintendo, which is not documented anything. But it seems to work. I don't know what you have to do. I, I was never a, a uh, Nintendo person. Okay, what am I doing? Yoshi's house. Okay. Don't know what I'm doing. Hello. Sorry, I'm not home. Okay, so that's a, a bit of bonus footage. This damn thing is quite happy playing Super Nintendo ROMs, which opens up a whole new... Uh, uh, I wouldn't say can of worms, a whole new... Uh, things because with you know an 8 gig SD card you could pack that with all your favorite Mega Drive and Super Nintendo ROMs so very interesting find right we've got a camera back level nearly right let's see what this consists of let's have a look at the battery shall we Right, under the battery compartment we have a lithium ion battery which looks like a very generic battery it always reminds me of the uh, the generic uh, Nokia battery right should we take it apart let's see what powers this I know you all are dying to know Uh, there's four screws on the back. I don't know how easy this is going to actually come apart. Or whether it's going to go back together. Okay, I can't see any more screws. Alright, some clips. Right, we're in. Alright, what do we see here? Just focus my microscope. Right, I'm presuming this is the main processor. And uh, markings on it are ATJ2259C. So you can look that up. And what we got here is this one. Mm, that looks like memory. What's this one? Uh, where is it? Try and get the angle right. Neo Trend NS2816ACT. I'm going to think that is probably uh, like our ROM. And then it's got the onboard games on. And this one, I would say this is just memory. Uh, Samsung uh, 807 K9 F2 G08 U0A. So I'm going to imagine that's our onboard RAM. So we could probably look that up and see how fast that's all running. Uh, there's, our bat there's our battery connector. Uh, we've got a little IC over here. Mm, can't see, it looks like 3002A. It's probably, is a no, there's chargers over there. So I was going to say a charge controller. So I don't I need to look that up. I have not got a clue what that is. That's interesting. There's a, looks like there's a position for an IR sensor there, but it's not populated. And there's a 
chips. Another chip here, well, that's not populated. CP1, something to go there, it's not populated. Okay. The main crystal. I don't know if I can see what frequency that crystal is. No, I can't see what frequency that crystal is. And we've got some caps that definitely look like these are an afterthought. Now, tricolor LEDs here. I uh, can't see anything for the old wireless. I can't see any antennas, so I think that wireless controller may well be a myth. And to be honest, I mean, seeing there's an IR sensor there, I'm sure they did a wireless uh, infrared controller, and you probably need that there. And yeah, I would have thought that's probably not supported, but yeah, that's quite interesting. I ain't gonna go any further because I'm sure there's nothing much on the other side, yeah. Uh, and yeah, I want to have a good play, all right. I hope that was interesting. Like I said, they're just over £10, these copy things, and uh, yeah, th don't think they're brilliant, but for £10, I think they're worth every penny. So I was saying, right, this is in your pocket. And can you get them back together again? Yeah, yeah of course you can, look like that. Will it work again? Probably not. Yeah, so. They is what they is. You can't buy anything for a tenner these days apart from one of these. And I suppose by the time you've taken the postage out, the two cables and the lithium battery, you're probably paying about £1.50 uh, for the unit. If that, to be honest. Right, it looks like it's definitely... Let's plug that battery, that battery back in. It almost looks, yeah, it looks like a scope for, for a bigger battery. To be honest, uh, I don't know how long the battery lasts, but there you go. A clone of a clone. Does it still work? It's this low battery. Oh. <laughs> Obviously, while I'm switching on, oh, it still works. Golden axe. Yeah, it doesn't seem too bad. Seems to be the process is keeping up with that. Uh, so the one that I didn't think sounded right. Can't remember. It's Sonic Two. It might be Sonic Two. It sounded a bit not right. As you, as you can hear, I mean, for what I call, that's a bit, that's a bit skippy, but the rest of the game seem alright, so I can live with that. Okay, many thanks for watching. Hope that was informative. Uh, hopefully compare it one day to the uh, 80 games one, just to see what the differences are, apart from the price. And it'd be, it'd be interesting to find out what that processor is and things like that. And see if we can hack it to make it better. Okay, many thanks for watching.